Hey there, Dr. Rob, the car doctor, chief surgeon down here in Integrid Auto Care in Hillsborough, Oregon. And this week's huge victory for the car doctors is a Range Rover Land Rover with the most system on the fiber optics that was not working properly. So what's the most? Good question. It is a media oriented systems transport network. So basically to make a long story short, I wanna keep these videos fun informational show you a behind the scenes look at what it takes to fix today's crazy complex vehicles so basically what makes this so difficult other than the fact that it's a range rover land rover is that this system has three different levels of audio systems and that means that it could have any one of these all of them some of them that type of thing so the main gist code we were getting was the u203 dash 31 fiber optic communication bus no signal and through some testing we were able to determine that the components at the front were okay and the components at the rear were okay so there was an open circuit somewhere within this loop system it's basically optic cable system that runs from the front through each module and back to the front so uh, pretty cool behind the scenes things we had to search and go to Germany. So thank you eBay for hooking me up with the seller for the factory approved most tester. Very cool tool. It basically helped us determine which components were good and bad. Couple testing tools to bypass. Let's say, you know, of course we get the hard stuff. If you have a bad module, what you can do is hook up this jumper cable. And if your most system comes back, you know it's a bad module. Of course, ours was not that easy. So let's kind of dive into what we found. Coming over here and show you. And you know, honestly, behind the scenes, this was a pain. It was a big job. You know, we're right in the middle of it going, oh man, what have we got ourselves into? But uh, we got it. So the main thing was, took it to the dealership. Dealership said they need a 3000 R wire replacement. You know, I can't blame them because there was some rodent damage and we basically, through all of our testing, found out that there's an open circuit between the CD changer and, probably have to go around and show you. This is like condensing a week long process down into a five minute video, but that's kind of why I make these. I did some, probably about four hours worth of research on my own time. But that's why we're known as the car doctors and people love us. We're always busy. So between the front CD changer, that cable routes down to here. And I had to physically pull this up. There was no diagnostics that helped. Pull this up, monitor all the components and found a hidden module that some rats had been get some light out here had been playing around and lo and behold they had chewed these wires apart you can see those two there they're chewed right there and right there those guys are both chewed so what we did, which is kind of cool, instead of replacing the whole harness, which is, you know, like when you're doing brain surgery, you want to take apart as little as possible. So we verified everything worked in the back, everything worked in the front. And I went outside the industry, techs and uh, shop owners, go outside the industry. I researched fiber octave repair, things like that. Make a long story short, I was able to find out how to take this cable and disconnect it from the harness and get a replacement cable good as new and we're going to route it up underneath the center console there this area and then over to the cd changer still a lot of work but a lot less intrusive than replacing the whole harness so basically to wrap it up here show you behind the scenes look all this had to take apart had to take apart the front to check the wiring there as well too showed the customer too you know some shout outs here bolt on technology is awesome for telling a story customer came down looked at that and said whoa 
I understand it's difficult. Uh, Mitchell On Demand, awesome job with your online explanations and stuff like that. I researched this for like four hours when I first got started. But I'll tell you what, that paid off because we're now mo most experts. Uh, eBay for the testing tools. Identifix 2 was very informative to help me get through some of these things. And then uh, last but not least, this is what I figured out watching the fiber optic uh, masters. I mean, that's another hidden, if you've picked one thing up from this text, study other masters and other fields. And I found out through fiber optic guys that knew what they're doing, that there's a fault locator tool that is basically a high powered LED that hooks into the fiber optic cable. Do not look at that cable head on because it is a very strong and powerful laser, but you can see right there, open circuit. So another important tool. So, all right, we're in about six minutes. Plus it's pizza night. So to wrap this up again, do your research, get the right tools. Bolt-on technology helps you take a uh, cool story show the customers as well. And once again, another Range Rover, Land Rover, most system victory. So we are now able to troubleshoot that as well. And by the way, we love Range Rovers. So, all right, Dr. Rob, the car doctor, main surgeon down here at Integrated Auto Care in Hillsboro, over and out.